Well, we've got these um, red chamfers because I uh, try to make sure that the curvature here was symmetrical because it didn't seem to be in the solid. Um, so I made some minor tweaks and all three of these chamfers broke and I've tried reducing this one to as little as one millimeter instead of its required five and it doesn't work. So what I did was um, basically delete one half the curve and then put it back again using this mirror command. Um, now I'm told um, because of a previous support um, request by a very helpful gent um, that I can get the um, curvature curve by right clicking on a curve in a sketch and saying toggle curvature display <coughs> so there it is all right and I know broadly that why these large excursions from the curve being analyzed mean that the radius of curvature or the rate of change of curvature with distance along the line is large and we hear that large is bad and small is good so we need to try and minimize these that that's the guidance so let's um, crack into that and solve this problem in a trice, shall we? Uh, I think we can turn that off and then, yeah. So, yeah, I can change these curves. Wee, wee. But how do I make them small and how small is small enough? Is there some way I can, you know, resolve to and then fix this annoyance is that better or worse it's different but what's the guidance here what is the recognized method <coughs> how can a bloke like me oh no that is getting smaller maybe does that make the yellow chamfers go away? No, 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 nothing of the kind. So back in again, maybe this wasn't the problem. Oh look, that's not zero. The, the fact that there's distance between this is saying that the radius of curvature here is not zero. Now I, I thought I had put, well I have put a perpendicular constraint between the control handles on this point and um, the vertical mirror line so that should be down at zero and I think that might fix it but how do I get it down to zero do I and again I don't want to tinker too much with the height of this thing it's not changing is it so I can't really get a mental understanding of of this I suppose these are two separate lines and at the point that they touch because it's a, a point of no width they need to subtend an angle of zero is that what we're trying to do here what is that doing I don't know what is that doing what even is this thing that I'm moving is it a control point for this line what is that thing that I'm moving? Can I delete it? Mm. Well, what did I just do then? Eh? It's gone. But that's made it a, a bit poorly. I don't know how it made it a bit poorly. This is another, you know, backward dash, the uh, the undo shuffle that we do to hopefully make the smelly stuff go away. That's um, just a dimension. That's nothing to do with the issue I'm seeing here, he said. I think I can get hold of this curvature thing as well. No, apparently not. Uh, I thought this was a curvature handle connected to the point, but it it isn't. 
you know, you're, you, you, this brain explodes. Uh, reboot it. Go out and come in again. Go to bed and wake up again. It might have gone away. That's what it's come down to. That's the level of... Okay, staying positive. Yeah, that still looks a bit weird. There's no indication, um, like in the timeline, of what it is you're undoing or redoing. It could easily say, I undid a movement of the line in the sketch whose name is this, I undid an extrude, I undid a movement. Uh, it's not doing that, and so you're in the blind, and you, you're in this trepidatious game of running backwards. Right, now at this point, the radius of curvature here is again zero which means I think that this, this line and this line are collinear at the point where they join the radius of curvature is zero. Or is it negative actually? Is it a little bit negative there? It is negative. Right, well we would ideally like it to be zero, but has that made the problem go away? No. We'll go in and do some more begging then, shall we? I don't really care about the exact shape of that. And within, you know, it's got to be certain width to to accommodate the things which are placed inside it. But I don't know at this point if I'm even moving on the right. Curve. It, it may be that this curve has got nothing to do with the problem I'm seeing, and so I'm risking introducing problems with no prospect of finding a solution. I don't know. No. Beg it some more. Oh my god. What the What is that doing? Right, well I'll undo that cleanly. See that to me looks better, but maybe it's not. Ah! They're both going down. Ooh. Ooh. Is that going to make the problem go away? Nah. Okay, but I, I, what I did there was to move a different that makes it smaller. Nope. By the way, two warnings, three red things. We'll ignore the yellow things. Surely there's nothing too aggressive in there. Well, there is. Now let's beg it uh, to see if it will give us a four. Will you give me a four? No. How about a three? Oh, go on. Two. No. One. No. Point not 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 one. Will you give me that? <laughs> no. You can't have any chamfer at all there. Could not be created at the requested size. This might be occurring at the ends of the selected edges. Do you mean lines? Oh, I see what you mean by selected ed edges. Yeah, those edges. So let's try and get that off again. Try adjusting the size or using multiple separate operations. Check that the selected edge chain ends. Edge chain ends at a sensible position and if not try selecting more edges. Well he's making a real effort there, although he is well it's just alright, it's not it's not too expert talk. I'm I'm holding in my hand the previous version of this model which extruded just perfectly and it's much more pointy 
th this line here is, is, is basically flat. It, the radius of curvature on these is much, much higher. Um, and more like I want for reasons, you know, there's a, an, a USB out socket there. I want a flat interface to it to um, to allow it to function better. So although I made the radius of curvature smaller to try and appease the chamfer gods, I really don't want it any smaller. Did it fix it? No, it didn't. And I'm thinking, you know, can I go back to... Do you remember why I'm doing any of this? I'm doing this to try and fix another problem, which is that this curve, though it's constructed on a reflection, on a mirror line, doesn't seem to be symmetrical. Um, when I look at it in the design. Ah. I selected that so that this line intersects the point signifying zero radius of curvature. It's still reporting two errors here while showing three errors and three warnings here. I just don't know what to do. I need this done. It's been around like a month and an expert should be able to draw this in five minutes. Maybe it's at this end. Maybe it's the fact that this red line has got some curvature here. Let's see if I can, you know, because why would you tell me? No, you work it out for yourself. We're not here to help. Good Lord. Right, that's on the zero point. Has it fixed anything? No. No, no, no. Nothing whatsoever. Perhaps if I jump up and down, do the okey cokey. I wonder if you're as fed up as this of, of watching this as I am of making it. Trouble is I can turn you off, but I've got to carry on living this nightmare. So, you know, last Sunday I thought oh, I'll get it done today. I don't mean yesterday, I mean the Sunday before that. I hate you. Oh great, that's a new problem. I had previously made a joint, a fixed joint, which aligned this perfectly in this, in this, you may have seen it on previous videos, it's gone. Yay! Right, I'm going out for a walk, because otherwise I'm going to start smashing things up.